What's going on warriors? We're back. As I always say, because I really mean it, thank you so much everyone for t um, commenting, talking, sharing my videos, sending me your messages, giving me your input when I do things that are not good, do things that are good and stuff like that. So I'm happy. Let's keep on pushing forward with the momentum. My birthday week, E3 week, let's get into this thing. I'm going to talk about Final Fantasy 7. Now I find it very very hard to do this video right because Final Fantasy means so much to me. And I did a video like the day it came out but it was like a 40 minute rant where I was just, I was too emotional like I was way too hype, way too emotional. Now I've managed to calm down and I feel like I can talk about Final Fantasy with more of a logically thinking mind. Now with that said, Final Fantasy 7, the remake. I think things will go a lot better if this is there. It's good, isn't it? Now, I am hyped about this. I cannot believe that Square Enix are doing a remake. They finally listen to us. We're going to get Vincent Valentine, Yuffie, Tifa, Barrett, Sid, Nanaki, or Red 13, whatever you want to call him, Cloud, Ares. Oh, we have to see Ares die again. It's unbelievable. We're going to see Rufus, Reno, Rude, Elena, the Turks, Tseng, everybody, the Genova Cells, the Reunion, and who knows, they might add some story. I would love them to do a different story in Final Fantasy VII for one simple reason. What would be the point in just doing Final Fantasy VII Remake with additional graphics? When you've got stories from like The Last Order and Before Crisis and Crisis Core. Why? Why wouldn't you do... Like you've, the world has been flushed... And Advent Children. The world has been flushed out so much more with like Shinra, the Maca Reactors, the Livestream, Genova, Genova Cells, the Elites. First Class Soldiers, and Geo, Genesis, and Sephiroth, and Zack. Now we know so much about the world of Final Fantasy VII. So they could do so much more. So I think it would be incredible. Even though Advent Children is set in the future, there's still a lot of elements that existed in Final Fantasy VII that could have been in Final Fantasy, like with Geostigma. Geostigma could still have existed in Final Fantasy VII. The Mako Poison, we could see more effects of Mako Poisoning with people in the world because it could have just been what happened to Cloud and what happened to some remnants in Advent Children. There must have been so many different things how Mako and the livestream affected people in the world in Final Fantasy VII. I am super excited. We could see Shinra being built up to be some kind of evil diabolical that's even more because you had some crazy people like Hojo and all these kind of crazy motherfuckers that worked in Shinra. Vincent Valentine's game that Vincent Valentine had the game the Verge of Cerberus they could have so much more with they could open up the story to set prof's mum and a relationship Vincent had with her and all this kind of stuff like it would be unbelievable what they could do in Final Fantasy 7 we're gonna see magic materia summons only me slash limit breaks. You're gonna see limit breaks. If you ain't seen limit breaks, you're gonna see some limit breaks. Supers. I cannot believe what is gonna happen. The music, the emotion, the passion, the world, the high wind. <laughs> like everything is just gonna be ridiculous. The story, the music. Final Fantasy was such an incredible game. That for me, growing up as a child, it literally changed my life. Like, I was emotional about Final Fantasy VII. And I was emotional about a video game before I was emotional but about anything to do with real life or anything to do with any type of film. You know, so Final Fantasy VII means a lot to me, man. So to see I'm gonna get Cloud again is huge. Final Fantasy VII, the remake. That's why I say that I think it's really important that they add some stuff. Because look at Kingdom Hearts. We're not talking about Kingdom Hearts yet, but I'm just addressing Kingdom Hearts as well. Like, when you look at Kingdom Hearts, they've done all these kind of things of like Recoded and Birth by Sleep and Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 and Unchained Memories and all these things. And they've flushed out the story so much that they've even gone back and redone. And it's been excellent. Like, even they did the same thing with Final Fantasy 7, actually, with Final Fantasy 7 International. They've always done it. 
Now, the thing that is legit about this is the fact that it is legit. All the writers, all the directors, all the producers, all the creative artists, everything, they're still in um, Square Enix. So they could easily do a legitimate expansion where they emphasize story elements, where they could include new story plots and intertwining events from Crisis Core and Last Order and Before Crisis and Dirge of Cerberus and the elites in Sorry, I was just the emotions getting to me. You know, there's so much that they could do with Final Fantasy VII. I am hyped, man. I am so excited about Final Fantasy VII. I'm just going to leave that. I think it's important that people don't try to tell them what to do. Just leave them to do work. This is the Final Fantasy team. They know exactly what they are doing. They know how to work. Square Enix, I believe in you and I love you for this. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see the summons, the material, the four time slash, the Knights of the Round. Imagine seeing Knights of the Round. My final heaven. Lucky Sevens, the Emerald Weapon, Sephiroth. We get to see Sephiroth. We got to see what this motherfucker can do. Because you got to remember Sephiroth before. I mean, okay, in Final Fantasy VII, this guy was a fucking menace. He was a terror. But before he was a terror, this man was a fucking hero. And he was godlike. We're going to get to see Cloud versus Sephiroth. I mean, I know we've already seen Cloud versus Sephiroth. But we're going to get to see it properly because they had some scuffles in Final Fantasy VII. We're going to see so much. Zack fought Sephiroth. So we might get to see that. This is going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to see summons. Final Fantasy 7 level. And I don't want to see any change in the system. I want to see magic. I want to see item. I want to see summon. That's, I don't want to see attack. That's what I want to see. I want to see an ATB bar. I don't want them to try to change it up. To try to make that uh, battle system like any type of evolved system. The system must stay the same. With the way you could um, with item slots in your weapons and stuff like that. That has to stay. If they had alternate costumes as well, that'd be cool. Like you had like the Advent Children costumes and stuff like that. That'd be awesome, you know. But it's not absolutely essential because Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VII. But to have like all that kind of alternate stuff you could do would be cool to add extra. I am hype about Final Fantasy VII, and I cannot believe it. And I'm so happy. Okay, now that's me talking about Final Fantasy VII. Let's switch gears. To Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. This is incredible. What they showed us of Kingdom Hearts was they had little elements that they showed us with summons, but we don't know what they are. What are they? They look kind of like theme park rides. Yeah, like you had like the tea, the teacup. Um, ride and you had the roller coaster ride and you had like the ship ride that you have in like Alton Towers or like in Disney theme parks and stuff like that and they just make it look like they're making those into summons you had like um like Pegasus or like one of the mad chariots like from Hercules or something like that you know so we had like all these kind of mad rides we saw Aero we saw Fire Up we saw um transformations Versus, and that trailer that they showed the E3 trailer was godlike. That they know how to pull on our heartstrings, yo. Like they were using the lingering, lingering will. I think it's lingering will, lingering spirit. Yeah, basically Terra's armor fight because we know from Kingdom Hearts 2 when you fought the lingering spirit or the lingering will, which was Terra. Terra's armor. Well, you know Terra, Xehanort, his armor, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, like that fight was ridiculous. When I was watching that trailer, I was just thinking of that fight. Because that fight, I've only ever done that fight like twice ever. And I don't want to do that fight again. That dude is tough, tough, tough. The lingering spirit, and to hear that music again with watching Xehanort and um, one of the, the Keyblade Master of Terra, Aqua, and Ben. I'm hype. 
and we got to see like Sora, he had various types of information. What was interesting was that at the beginning of the trailer you saw Sora with his Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit. But then you saw later on in the trailer, he had like another outfit. He had like another outfit or something like that, you know? So maybe when the game starts off, he has his original outfit. And then as it goes on, he gets magicked up with a new outfit. It's similar to what they did in Kingdom Hearts 2. The way they transition from his first outfit to his second outfit. So, I do, I'm clear with that. We saw Heartless. Heartless is still going to be in there, you know? So, that's going to be interesting. Because Organization 13, they're gone. They're gone. I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited. I cannot believe we're getting our Kingdom Hearts free. Finally, 10 years, over 10 years. Kingdom Hearts, 10 years. And if you think about it, Advent Children, that's over 10 years as well. Final Fantasy VII is 20 years. You know, so this is a long time coming. This is why we are so hype for it and people are so excited and I'm so excited because it's not like oh, a few months or two or three years it's 10 years over 10 years for Kingdom Hearts that Team Kingdom Hearts has started it's been over 20 years for Final Fantasy 7 okay we did get 20 years for Final Fantasy 7 we did get Advent Children but even that was 10 years ago so this is long overdue we deserve this as people that have bought the game, supported the game, and I've always supported, I've bought every single Final Fantasy VII. I haven't bought every single Kingdom Hearts game. Like there's the web, web browser game, and there's the 3DS game that I did get eventually, but I didn't get originally. I haven't got the one for the PS3, because I don't have a PS3. So I didn't get the, I think it was 2.5 and 1.5, I didn't get those. Yeah, but everything else, I've got. I did get the dream, the dream drop distance because I don't have a 3DS and I'm not going to get a 3DS. You know, so I think it was incredible. Like you saw the um, Keyblades, he showed that he had various type of Keyblades. He had like the Oath Keeper, he had the Mickey Mouse's version. Um, he was able to change his guns, his um, Keyblades into guns, like double wood guns, and even turn it into like kind of like a bazooka. But we already know Keyblades can do this from the Lingering Spirit fight. Because when you fight the Lingering Spirit, um, Terra's armor, you actually see he can transform it. Um, Terra transforms his sword into all types of like bazookas and handguns and shotguns and machine guns and he can even turn it into something where he can fly on it. So if Sora has got keyblade transformation where he can make his blade um, surf, like he can use it as a hoverboard, like kind of like Back to the Future thing, that would be ridiculous. We might get to see Marvel, Marvel worlds in Kingdom Hearts where he'll be like with Spider-Man or Iron Man. Imagine Captain America. Or Iron Man, where like they do like an Iron Man arc in Kingdom Hearts, and you get to see Tony Stark, and you get to have the Iron Man armor as your partner. Better yet, you get transformation. So you might have like a Captain America transformation, where um, Sora gets in trans um, Captain America's outfit, and he has like the shield, and he can do like um, Captain America moves. Or Iron Man, he gets like Iron Man, like the Iron Man armor, and he gets like to be able to like do Iron Man abilities and stuff like that. I can't wait, and you saw like, we know, I heard Tangled is going to be in it, they're definitely going to have Tangled, the Disney movie, they might have, um, is it, I think it's Big Hero number 6, they should, they'll have that, they'll have like all these kind of like crazy things in there man, like I cannot wait to see what um, Square Enix and this are going to come up with in for, um, Kingdom Hearts 3. It's going to be ridiculous. I'm hype about it. I can't wait to see the magic. I can't see, wait to see the enemies. I want to see who the main enemy is going to be. Because to top Organization 13, that is a toughie. To top Organization 13, it's going to be tough, tough, tough. You know, Square Enix, I believe they can come up with something. You know, because you've got to remember, Xehanort's still in there. Aqua's still alive. Um, Ven. It can still be there, you know, so there's got a lot is there, there's a lot coming, we still haven't seen my man, Riku, you know, Kairi, we haven't seen any of them, so you know, I'm hyped, I'm excited, I'm delighted, I can't wait to talk to you guys about it, what's my, my 
over level 9000 hype level was toned down because I was too hyped to do a video. My first video I did about this was 40 minutes long and I couldn't stop talking. I was hyped, I was like talking too much, I was talking too fast, I was too hyped. Now I feel more calmer. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching and bearing with me as I talk about them Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 7. If there's anything you want to share with me of your feelings about seeing summons and um, skills and enemy skill and full time slash and limit breaks and the team members, your favourite team members and everything, you know, seeing the world of Final Fantasy, seeing maybe they might put Angeal in there, they might put like some bad first class soldiers in there, we get to see soldier, like the soldier army, the fights, the epic CG they can do, the epic fights they can do, we get to see Kingdom Hearts, we get to see magic, we get to see transformations, see if we can get like the summons back again where we have like something like Simba, to fight with us, or what Final Fantasy worlds are going to be in there, if they even try to put a Final Fantasy 15 world in Kingdom Hearts, whatever they're going to do would be absolutely incredible, think about it, they could even put a Lara Croft, they could even put a Lara Croft world in there, where Lara Croft is in Final Fantasy, and it's, sorry, it's in Kingdom Hearts 3, there's so much, because they've got um, the world of Square Enix, and then they've got the world of Disney and the world of Marvel. This is going to be the most godlike. It's one of the most godlike game ever. And I believe in Square Enix. They can do this thing. Okay, Warriors. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear your opinions. Maybe I haven't thought of something. I've missed something out. Let me know. Let me know. Okay, Warriors. Comments down there. Till my next video. Take care and stay blessed.